the first international conference on object databases. On the 13th and 14th of March 2008, we had an international conference on object databases in Berlin, Germany. The conference was able to attract 24 talks, lots of papers, and the conference was divided into a scientific research track and an industrial track. After the talks, we had a lot of discussion about the topics, and especially about the future of object databases. We had poster sessions, book exhibitions, and even product conferences around the ICODB conference. So let's take a look at the 24 talks we had. And now, let's dive into some of the hottest keynotes and talks. At first, we had a keynote from Robert Greene, Versant, telling us about exploding data volumes, data integration performance, scalability, and much more. And then all of the processes that they spin up have access to all of that data. And so uh, what happens is they've got these special connection pools that you would build into your application space or link in. And those connection libraries um, are smart. They're sort of um, interfaced down into the database server process. Then we had a keynote from Leon Gozender from Objectivity using an advanced ODBMS for distributed data fusion in a grid environment. Data fusion has many different, uh, different, many different shades. On the science side, it can be bringing stuff in from multiple instruments, perhaps from multiple telescopes, infrared, visible, and so on, and combining it into a coherent picture. Uh, in the defense and intelligence space, it's bringing stuff in from multiple And we had another keynote from Christoph Wittig, ODBMS 2.0, how today's object databases are here to stay. Devices also include the device that probably brought you here thanks to the transportation strikes, which is automotive. It's full of CPUs, a BMW 7 Series has 70 CPUs on board, and believe me or not, they create a lot of data. And probably each one of you has another device in their pocket other than this PC you're having in front of you, you have a cell phone in your pocket, and believe it or not, these become more and more computing devices rather than... And we had Mike Card from the OMG Standardization Organization talking about next generation standard efforts in the OMG. Uh, at the level almost of an object database kernel, and the idea being that if we could develop a standard here, then uh, each one of the vendors uh, who typically will implement uh, either query languages or their own uh, native querying APIs for the different programming languages, those things tend to vary a lot from vendor to vendor, but all of the vendors ultimately... Uh, After this, we had Roberto Zicari from the University of Frankfurt giving us a free talk about object-oriented databases. Where did they go? But I think the most interesting conclusion is the attitude. There are still people that think uh, open source is something very strange. And, uh, um, and if you need to make a decision... And Carl Rosenberger from DB4 Objects gives an interesting outlook on the potential of object databases. Why not say a closure is a transaction, right? So everything that runs in this closure is a transaction. When the closure starts, it's begin transaction. When you exit the closure, it's end transaction. In C Sharp, we already have such a concept at this point in time. And Professor Subieto was there, giving us a strong introduction about stack-based architecture and stack-based query languages. Mike enumerated in, in this way, because previously enumeration was M1, M0, M1, 
one and two and so but this uh, makes some contradiction with enumeration m0 at, uh, which is uh, used in uml so uh, i agree that this change is then we had Karsten Charsky from Oracle here at the conference telling us what Oracle can do with objects. ...of this purchase orders. Summarized item, item amount by item price and this summarized up. Um, I want to see what's the bill, how much do I have to pay for all these purchase orders. And for, to do this you have to grab into the XML documents. Uh, the XML document as a, as a whole isn't useful if you have the XML And Chris Beams from Spring Source was in Berlin talking about enterprise ODB integration with Spring and object databases. Here's the problem. What if in that whole network of objects and components, let's just say we have object A depends on object B. And object A has a method like transfer funds, but object B, like account repository, has a bug in it. And that bug makes our object A, it makes that method. And finally, we had two hot invited talks by Ralph Westphal, one about software tra transaction on memory, and one about the Amazon SimpleDB. What we get out is from the list domains call is a list of strings as you can see here it's an array of strings it's a fixed number and if I don't pass in any parameters it's just all domains so as you can see we had a lot of fun here in Berlin with many talks and lots of discussions so come on and join the next second conference on object databases on the 1st of July at ATH Zurich there is so much to see at this conference, this university, and even the city. To get more information, simply go to www.icoodb2009.org and register for this unique event. So thanks for viewing and see you in Zurich.